What is going on guys, today we've got another overvoice skills video which like I said I've got to do because of my broken hand If you want to see more detail you can go back to the last video but it's not that interesting so don't bother Either way we've got a video today recommended by DNA Freestylers He commented on the video saying can you do skills to cut inside and shoot And I thought that's a great idea, I've never done a video like that So I've got 5 of my favourite skills to use as a striker, winger, wherever you might play, centre midfielder To cut inside and then have a shot or make a cross wherever it is But for today we're just going to focus on having a shot Again, this video is sponsored by EduBirdie, so thanks to them. If you guys are struggling in school, in college, in university with like homework or coursework or exams, anything like that, them guys can help. Go down the description and find out all about that. So yeah, thanks again to EduBirdie for sponsoring today's video. But either way, let's just get straight into it. There's five skills here. A lot of them are fresh skills you guys probably haven't seen before. Maybe you have. Let me know in the comment section if you have already. But yeah, let's get into it. So the first skill is going to be the most basic of today, as you can see, it's just a turn out with the outside of your foot. Now I've got a few examples to show you on the own without the defender, with the defender and then slow down. So it's very, very simple to grasp. Using one foot for the whole thing here, you're pretending to go inside and then cutting it back with a little outside the foot touch. You put in that little bit of a jump, you'll see the foot touch the ground and the astro actually lift from the floor, which is a cool little effect of the skill. But yeah, all you're doing is you pretend to go inside and then you're just chopping it back out with the outside to push away from your defender or whoever's in front of you to get away now here's the slow down version right now so the ball stopped you're stepping with one foot and you're taking it out with the other foot just as shown right there again a little bit faster but with the jump in that time the jump is just to get a bit more explosion but you see how it works against the defender right now you're leading them in one way taking them in and then coming back out as simple as that very very nice skill give this one a try it's very simple so you guys will get it straight away Okay, so moving on to the second skill now. This one's all about exploding away from your defender and that's kind of the idea of this whole video in a sense is to kind of gain yourself a yard or two away from a defender. Now this skill has two variations. So you've got the cannon variation, which is just bang, bang with the inside of your feet. Right there, you can see it on screen and it gets you that yard that you need to have a shot. But then there's a drag touch as well, which you'll have seen you're about to see right now. It's a drag over and kick inside. It's the same kind of concept and I feel like you can get more power with the drag. That's why I've thrown it in as a variation. But the cannon move movement's probably the easier way to go so it depends on what you're trying to get out of this skill if you're already more advanced with it then you might want to put the drag in for more power if not you can just stay with the inside of the foot as you can see on the screen right now but yeah this will definitely gain you a yard or two that you'll need to then pop off a shot or have a cross whatever it is but for today's video and the concept is to get that shot off at goal but yeah both variations are perfectly useful in a game situation you might want to stop the ball right before you do it but you're seeing a little bit of a slowed version down right now um, as you can see, both skills are very, very nice. They're clean, they're simple to do. And I'm trying to keep all of the skills today very, very simple for you guys to learn. Um, but yeah, as you can see now on the defender, bang, bang, you've gone inside, it come off my knee, but still the skill's done. You can see that it's perfect, it's away from Bears and, and he's gone. Same with Bears on me there, bang, bang, explosion and you're out. It's a perfect little nice skill to use. Very, very simple, you guys will get it straight to where. But yeah, just give it a few practices against no defender, then maybe throw in one of your mates or something like that, or a few cones, you can try and explode away and have a shot, whatever you want to do. But yeah, just give this one a try and let me know how you do. So this next skill is a dummy down version of the inverted elastico, which I've shown on my channel quite a lot. And normally what I'll tell you with this skill is to make it nice and slick and as quick as possible. But for today, we want to kind of get both touches in. So you want to kind of slow it down a little bit because you want the ball to go more inside rather than forward to beat the defender. I've shown both variation, but you'll see if you're trying to get a yard off for a shot, you want to kind of go bang, bang instead of bang, bang which I normally try and preach, I normally try and push you guys to keep it as slick and as fast as possible, but try and get both touches in this skill. Now you see right there, there's two touches and you can see it and hear it as well. Baez is doing both of them right now, both variations, but bang, bang, you're inside, you've gained your yard and you can have a shot, whatever it is you're trying to do in the end. But yeah, very, very nice skill. It's a bit more advanced than the last two we've just done, but it's very, very nice. You'll see it now slow down, so we're taking the touch inside and then outside. Once again, inside and outside a little bit faster. You can do it on both feet. Now against the defender, you see how it works. You're taking them one way with the first touch, and then you're pushing out with the outside of your foot on the second touch. Bears right here. Bang, bang away from me, and he's, he can have a shot. again. a few yards of me right there. He sold me, and he's gone and done the business. Okay, so once again, we've got a double variation right here. 
This skill's a little bit more difficult again than the last few we've done. It's obviously using both feet, one foot to drag the ball back and the second foot to kick it inside. Now, like I said, there's two variations. The one on screen right now is the slow one and then the one on screen right now is the quicker one. So there's a jump in the first one and you're off the floor with one foot while you're only keeping one foot on the floor for the whole skill. But then on the second one, you're stepping your foot down as you touch it at the back of your foot. As you can see there, both feet are on the floor. So yeah, there's two variations. One of them's a bit more difficult than the other. I would say the one where both feet are on the floor is more difficult because it's about timing and obviously balance and things. But the one where you jump into it can be quite quick and can gain you that yard a little bit better, I feel, because you can push out quicker and explode quicker. But it just depends on how your balance is and where you're positioning your foot. So you've seen it slow more down. So this is the jump one. As you can see, my right foot doesn't actually touch the floor throughout the skill. But the second time around, my foot steps and then I'm kicking it inside like that so that one's a little bit harder because it's more to do with balance and positioning and trying to get that flick right and get more power on the flick but the jump flicks definitely more of an explosion one whereas the one on the floor is kind of, of a push maybe if the defender's really leaning into you you can push it away from them but use both of them they're very very nice and they'll definitely gain you that yard Okay, so this next skill is kind of a variation of the hazard turn, apart from you're not doing two touches. The hazard turn is the drag over and then turn. This is just the turn part of it, and it will definitely gain you a couple of yards on the defender to have that shot. Now, as a striker, these have been my five favorite skills, but this is probably one of the best ones for getting your shot off early and nice because it explodes you right out. And because you're turning your body on a spin, it really pushes you away from the defender protecting the ball and then able to get the shot off or whatever you need it's very very nice they don't see it coming you're faking them one way and then you're pulling it out and under the direction but yeah very very nice again Baze hadn't done this skill before this is the first time he was trying it and he did it first time didn't need any sort of practice with it whatsoever so you can see the simplicity and the easiness of the skill but still the explosion and how useful it can be now you're going to see it on the defender so you get a bit more of an idea but it's just using the sole of your foot but it's the angle that you're coming in from you're not just like pulling it back towards you you're pulling it back on like sort of a 90 degree angle so that you can get in the direction of where you want your shot you can change the angle if you want to but it just depends on which way you're facing and which way you need to get the shot but you've seen it slowed down now just dragging it away from the defender now you've seen it on the defender dragging it inside away from Baze. Baze thinks i'm going to go left and in fact i'm going to go right and away from him and it's a very very nice skill he said even when i was beating him with it he knew what was coming but it's still hard to read so yeah definitely give this one a go so I hope you guys enjoyed them five skills. I like to read a lot of comments and get ideas for videos. So if you let me know some more ideas that you guys have down in the comment section, I'm be sure to shout you guys out too if I choose that one. But yeah, they were five fun skills to use to cut inside and have a shot. Let me know what you think. Like this video if you did enjoy it and comment down below your favorite skill, your favorite part, wherever it might be. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on. It's just at the top right there and it tells you when I upload. Yeah, either way, see you in the next video.